And it continues. Retail stores have been closing up shop at a more rapid pace than we have seen in a very long time. It is currently on pace to be worse than the years leading up to the financial crisis. Some have blamed e-commerce. Others blame it on bad companies. Let's look at the details today. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. This has become one of my favorite topics. We're looking at the store closures that are going on in the United States. When you look at the data, it starts to make a lot of sense. We have a bad economy. We have a lot of stores closing down. However, there are some other curveballs that have been thrown in there. And many people have been pointing to the rise of e-commerce and companies like Amazon taking down a lot of these big chains. There's a big change that has been happening over the years many more people out there have been shopping online they have been choosing other companies to go to you have mergers and acquisitions that take place there are always going to be changes however what i have noticed is something that cannot be denied and that is the economy is doing worse as time goes on i didn't say the stock market i said the economy now you see people out there they're buying everything you could imagine they're lining up for iPhones they're trying to get the newest latest gadget and they are always spending money however their debt their debt is at the maximum it has ever been in history we've seen student loans that have risen to over 1.5 trillion dollars we're looking at home equity line of credit we're looking at every form of debt expanding and of course this puts a heavy burden on stores that don't provide what some people are looking for maybe they're looking for the best deal maybe they're looking for the best products and so these stores start to evaporate now we have 6,000 store closures and if you have been following this channel for a while I've been covering it as it's been progressing throughout this year previously it was I think 5,600 before that I did a video around 5,000 and before that you can see how it is adding up very quickly it's not just one store it's not just one brand it's not even just retail stores we can see that it has expanded to every part of the economy and this really tells us something when it isn't just one factor when it isn't just for example department stores this is really showing us what's happening let's get into it right away no more ranting i wanted to begin by taking a look at this how many times have you seen articles like this? These chains have announced a ton of store closings in 2019. You go through, it shows you paid less shoes, it shows you all the different shop co and all these different big companies that are shutting their doors or they're trying to reinvent their business. I think it's too late for that personally, but this is what we have seen many times before. And you always have individuals saying it's e-commerce, it's Amazon. If you wanna see many examples of that, go into the comment section of this video. I I guarantee you there will be at least 50 comments referring to Amazon and e-commerce as being the cause. You probably think that it makes a lot of sense. Obviously, people are buying more things online today than they ever have before. That is actually true. However, let's look statistically at it. Let's not just think in our head and we can somehow come up with an idea. We actually need statistics to be able to prove our point. The rise of e-commerce in the United States, e-commerce sales as a percentage of total retail sales in the United United States as of the end of 2018 it is 11% okay 11% using the Census Bureau data now even if you were to pad that up maybe it's 12 maybe it's 15% heck even let's say 20% this is really showing us that the bulk of the sales are not coming from e-commerce in fact you could see here looking at this we are looking at over five trillion dollars worth total retail sales in 2018 but if you look at the e-commerce it's 514 billion dollars so things are really picking up as you can see the trend is clearly there more people will be using e-commerce every single year and we see that by the way as the year goes on towards the fourth quarter sales start to pick up and they come down and pick up but the general trend is that more people are doing e-commerce today and this really depicts that However, it's only a percentage of the total. And that's really what I want to stress. So you cannot put all the weight on saying e-commerce is the reason, Amazon is the reason. Although many people do buy things online, there's a lot of people who buy most of the things online. You have to judge it as the entire community, what everybody is doing, not just what a single individual is up to.
This is the brand new data showing us offering shoppers new experience isn't helping as malls see a tsunami of store closures and falling traffic. This article out of CNBC, but they're grabbing their research out of Coresight. And this tells us that there are 6,000 stores that will shut in 2019 already. These have been announced. Who knows what the remainder of the year is looking like. I mean, we are in the fourth month of the year already. We have 6,000 store closures. This is impossible to predict what's going to happen, but the way I look at it is truly going to be mind-blowing when we see the numbers at the end of 2019. All the while, we're being told the economy is fantastic. Now, whenever I do a video like this, 100% of the time, people are constantly harping on the fact that I'm not showing the other side of the equation. Well, guess what? You can read it right here. Opening 2,600 stores. There have been 6,000 announced closures and 2,600 are opening. We have many more stores closing than are opening. That's a sign that things are not looking good. Look Look at the details for yourself. I can't show every single statistic related to this. I'm trying to do my best to be able to piece this all together. And here you can see the openings versus the closings. This is getting heated out there when you can see that they're trying to adapt, but it's not working. That shows you that something is going on. It's not just about Sears and Payless shoes closing down, claiming bankruptcy. This is about an economy that is suffering. It's suffering and you have fewer and fewer fewer businesses that are doing well and that's generally a sign that the money is sparse the velocity of money which has come down more recently in recent years we have witnessed as many shoppers are looking and they're trying to be smarter about what they purchase yes maybe they're still buying the iPhone but then they're holding back on other purchases their debt is really expanded to the absolute maximum I don't understand how it can go much further than this but I'm consistently surprised because it can continues to go higher and higher every year and that is not a good sign when you really look at this. A separate report found that foot traffic dropping off at malls across the country has been going on in recent months. They also found malls with the so-called experiential tenants that aren't focused on just selling products like Apple. You have places like Italy and Tesla haven't been drawing in extra traffic. So having these particular stores, giving them the experience, different types of things, instead of just buying stuff, this isn't bringing the people in. That tells you something's going on right now it's not just about look Sears has been around for too long they didn't adapt and now they're failing this is the data this is the raw information you need to know about Widespread closures have roiled the retail industry, but many stores are likely to shut down in the coming years to keep up with a shift to online shopping, according to UBS. They point to online shopping, and of course, that is a factor, and as the years go on, it's going to get worse, obviously. However, it's only one piece of the puzzle, but let's take it for what it is. An estimated 75,000 stores that sell clothing, electronics, and furniture will close by 2026 when online shopping is expected expected to make up 25% of retail sales, roughly 16% of overall sales are made online. So they're grabbing data from a different place. They say 16, I'm showing you 11. Who knows which is the accurate data? Either way, it's still a smaller percentage of the total than what we are being told. You know, all of this, everything is being bought online today. Well, the truth is that, yes, it's a growing number, but that isn't the full picture. If 75,000 stores close, this would be unprecedented. Even if it's over multi-year span, it's still going to affect people. That's the whole point. Look, I don't necessarily care about one company or another, these multinational conglomerates. This isn't what I worry about. I worry about the average individual who's been working at this job for 22 years and now suddenly doesn't know anything else. That's the only real skill that they have. They've been just working this job and now they're out of business. Business. So what do they do? Well, maybe they are 50 years old. They can't exactly get out there, get a new skill. It's more difficult. They've got a mortgage. They've got kids in school, this and that. They weren't expecting this to happen. It's hard, okay? This is the type of thing that worries me. Not necessarily the corporation, but it's the people. The Banking Workers Union has told the Commonwealth Bank to come clean on whether it plans to axe 10,000 jobs or a fifth 
of its workforce. The Australian on Friday reported a secret plan to slash as many as 10,000 staff from the bank's 50,000 strong global workforce and to shut down 300 branches to save $2 billion. Guess what? To boost profit and satisfy shareholders. If you know anything about what happened during the financial crisis, they came up, all these big institutions came out and basically said, we are going to save a certain amount of money. And what did that mean? Well, they were going to cut everything they could, cut staff, they were going to stop expansion, stop construction, stop everything that they were doing in order to save money. And a lot of people, unfortunately, are going to be left out. Now, we're getting this at a time when we've been told the economy is great. Why are all these companies firing people? Why are they getting rid of people? Why are they having to reinvent their businesses if everything is fine? The truth is that it's not fine. And I'm tired of hearing about that. We have to look at the reality. Stop looking at the stocks. Some stocks are affected by a company that's not doing well, but sometimes these companies are not really representative of what's happening in the economy. That's all I wanted to get to before I just show you very quickly Deutsche Bank, Commerce Bank, 30,000 jobs could be cut as a result of this merger. This is going to be huge. All of this is, of course, speculation. I don't want to get into it too much, but think about what happens when two multinational massive companies like this get together. They're going to ax people. There's no doubt about that. If you want to keep an eye on the daily job cuts, well, all you got to do is check out dailyjobcuts.com. It breaks it down. Actually, it's really good. If you look on the left-hand side, it shows you layoffs in the middle is bankruptcy. On the right-hand side is closed closing and then you can see and actually click on it and it will break it all down for you each one they show you the amount they show you the stores it just really gives you an insight of what's happening and it's constantly being updated i don't know if they're getting a hundred percent of all of them out there but at least it's a good way to keep tabs on it i'm going to end the video there if you found it informative please give me a thumbs up when you give me a thumbs up you are supporting this channel so i do appreciate that very much last but not least if you want the financial education you weren't taught in school these two books have everything you need from taught to bottom A to Z. Check them out at the link in the description if you want the audiobook that's available at the moneygps.com. This is the last video I did on the store closures, 5,600 at the time, and I break down all the stores that are closing. So definitely check this out if you haven't already. Over 260,000 people watch this video, so you definitely got to take a look if you haven't. See you there.